Hello. I'm going to be reviewing another series, and the series I'm going to be reviewing is Child's Play, which I'm going to be reviewing the first movie in the series, which is you know, Child's Play, which came out in 1988. Um, like, like most of the other series I review, most people have will likely have seen this because Chucky is a horror icon now icon now and he is uh integral to pop culture. Oh so basic plot of the movie is which most people already know if they've seen it uh during a um a robbery chase uh, uh one of the thieves who is played by Brad Dourif, he runs into a toy shop and is shot and killed. But before he dies, um, he transfers his soul into a good guy doll, which is the doll that Chucky is before, you know, he becomes possessed. The doll becomes possessed and, um, he transfers, yeah, he transfers his soul, his soul into a good guy doll. And when that happens, an explosion happens and all the dolls go out, like, throw out into the street. So, the other uh, plot is, or the main plot is, um, a mom, a mother is looking for, uh, decides to buy her son a toy, a good guy doll, as a last minute gift for his birthday. Uh, I think he's supposed, to, I think Andy's like six in the movie, but, you know, she's not like that wealthy, she's kind of like in the like poor, like middle class, not, I guess she's more like on the lower income, so she goes on the, um, you know, the back street, and she sees a bum, or the, oh no, her friend, sorry, her friend tells her, like, she knows this guy who can get him a good guy, uh, you know, her son a good guy doll, because that's what Andy wants, so she t takes her, her friend takes her to a bum, and the bum is has like a cart full of good guy dolls, and she picks one and takes it home to Andy. Later on, um, uh, some weird things start happening, like the babysitter watching Andy. She mysteriously gets pushed out of a window, but people think that she might. Someone, you know, the police think she might have jumped out the window, but it didn't make it doesn't make sense why and. A lot of other weird things are going on, and then of course she figured out that it's the doll that's actually killing people and causing mayhem. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Child's Play series. Um, I don't know why. I just never found Chucky scary, and I had I've seen these movies as a kid, and I I especially remember Part Two a lot, but I never found dolls scary for some reason. It's like clowns, like with clowns. I never found clowns scary, but I did. I do enjoy the first three Child's Play, Child's Play movies because they do have a darker and serious tone to it. Like they were trying to be scary. Um, so I appreciate the movies, the movie, the first three movies for that. Um. Some things I did like was how uh, they tried to make it a mystery. Like you didn't know if it was the kid killing some, killing these people, killing these people, or if it was the doll. Which you know, of course, like nowadays you could you know it's the doll because the, you know Chucky's a horror icon now. Um, I liked. The music in it, I like the score. Uh, something about the like the bell sound and like the little kids' voices kind of has like an unsettling tone to it. Um, the movie is not really bloody, but you know the the babysitter's death was kind of shocking when I rewatched it later on when I was older. And it's like, wow, like, you know, I, I kind of question, like, 
maybe because I overthink things too, was like, how how does he kill these people, like these grown people, like, you know, they're taller than him, like, how come they don't kick him, you know, just kick him or, you know, punch him, punch him away or something, but I know it wouldn't be a movie if they could, if they could do that. But, like, I was always wondering, like, how he pushed the babysitter out the window with all that force. Because he, like, breaks, like, she don't, like, the window's not open. He pushes her through the glass and she, you know, falls out the window. And she falls from a tall, uh, really tall height. Because, like, they live in a, uh, Andy and his mom live in an apartment. Uh... The other thing too is like, um, I, I always laugh at certain scenes because Chuck, Chucky's very vulgar. He'll just like cuss at pe cuss at people. It's, he don't really, well in this movie, he's more restrained, like, cause they're trying to keep it like a murder mystery. So, um, you'll hear him. So the only time, like, he really talks is when, is at the fireplace scene. When the mom's about to throw him into the fireplace and he starts freaking out, he goes like, You stupid bitch, I'm gonna kill you! And all that, and she throws him in the fireplace. Like, you know, at when I sort of saw that scene, like, I was like, whoa, like, damn, like, he was not playing. And that scene was great, too, like, when she finds out, like, when she checks the doll, and there's no batteries in the doll the whole time, and you think, like, the whole time you're like, when's he gonna come alive? Because she's like shaking him. She throws him underneath the couch. She likes looking underneath the couch and like slowly starts pulling him out. And you're like, when he, you know, you're always like, when he's gonna wake up? When's he gonna start freaking out? And it's when she's about to throw him into the fireplace. And yeah, I was like, damn. And like, like his response, I was like, man. Uh, I also like. Some of the scenes were kind of fu funny to me because I know like Chucky is part like animat well mainly animatronic, but they also have a little person running around in a suit and like dressed up as him for certain shots. And like any time they show him running like in the background, I start laughing because of how he looks when he's moving, or like when in the fireplace scene when his little legs are kicking up like that. I, w I don't know why. I just find that hilarious. <laughs> um, Brad Dourif, who he plays the voice of Chucky. I his voice is very like powerful and menacing, and I like Brad Dourif. Uh, I haven't seen him in too many movies. I'm I seen him in uh, One Flew or the Cuckoo's Nest, which he was more like a restrained, calm, quiet kind of character. And I liked, I loved him in um, Exorcist 3 when he, he played the Gemini killer. And he gave like a very powerful speech. But like every time I see him in another movie and I hear his voice, I'm always thinking of Chucky. So. I also like the look of Chucky. Like, you know. Like when he possesses the doll, like he kind of has more human features to it. Which I forgot to mention. Well, I think they mentioned it in the second movie, which I'll just mention it in that if I remember. Uh, like how he possesses, when he possesses a doll, or he has to find a human host really fast, or he'll be trapped in the doll body forever. So like when they, I, like when they hit him or kick him and he starts bleeding, that's not a good sign because he, well for him, because he has to get out of that body before he become he has to stay in in there. So he has to, that's why he's pursuing Andy in all the movies. And there's some there's some weird scenes too. Like I don't get like how a little kid well the little kid Alex he takes the or Aunt, damn the, the actor's real name is Alex Vincent. Um. Andy takes the, I think it was the bus or a train to school, and he gets he gets to school, but then he walks off the campus with everyone out there, and goes, takes the train, goes halfway across town. He lives in Chicago, and 
he goes he goes through this run down like ghetto neighborhood where there's like dilapidated houses because you know Chucky Ch uh Chucky's speaking to him. This is before you know they find out Chucky's uh is living is alive. So like and he's like I gotta go use the bathroom. So he goes pee somewhere and then Chucky goes into this house and he kills uh his partner who ditched him at the beginning of the movie. Uh and he uh he op he puts the gas on the stove and he blows it up and I was like why was that scene even necessary I, like I knew like he was he was getting revenge on his partner but like it was kind of weird like how a little kid like could get that far without being caught or you know by a police officer or another adult or something uh there's also a scene where Chucky meets up, finds the guy who taught him the voodoo spell, and he has like a little, Chucky has a voodoo doll of the guy, and starts stabbing it, and like crushing it, and like when he does it, the guy's reacting to it. I thought that scene was pretty cool. Um, the end scene when they're fighting off Chucky, and I, I gotta mention this scene too. So, near the end, when they start fighting each other, where they, um, uh, Andy's mom, Andy, and the police officer from the beginning of the movie, they find out what's, what's really going on, because they took Andy to a mental hospital, and they think that Andy's mom is crazy, so they're gonna try to take him away and put him in protective custody, but Chucky comes there, kills the doctor he has like the electric shock electric shock thing for electric shock therapy and he puts it on the doctor's head and it, like burns him up and makes him like you know foam at the mouth and shit and bleed um yeah the movie's not very graphic um uh, i'm surprised but it wasn't uh but there's a scene I remember that scene. I, mean, I kind of go over all over the place, but there was one scene too where uh, the cops driving the car and Chucky like takes his like a cord around, wraps a cord around his neck, tries to strangle him to death when he's driving the car. But the one scene I was trying to get to was like Chucky goes into they uh, Chucky goes into an elevator and he's sitting there, and this old couple comes in, and the lady was like. What an ugly doll. And they, you know, they get down to the floor and they leave. And the guys, and Chucky goes, fuck you. <laughs> I was like, I start, I don't know, I just busted out laughing when that scene came up. Um, so yeah, uh, when they get to the end of the movie, when they're fighting Chucky, he gets burnt up and stuff. I, yeah, he gets thrown, he eventually gets thrown into the fireplace. So he's all like, all up. Um, black melted plastic mess, and the cops start shooting him, and there's like blood splaying everywhere. He shoots off his legs, his arms. I thought that effect was pretty good for, you know, the year, the time it was made. Yeah, like I said, it's not my favorite movie, or this is not, this is not my favorite film series, but this movie is definitely a solid movie, and I would definitely, it's definitely should be recommended as, as a must see in the whole, to watch in the horror genre. You know, most people probably have seen this, not even horror fans, you know, just casual fans. Because Chucky is such an, an icon now. But anyways, that's my review.